Hi, I'm Francesca Simon, and I'm about to read to you the beginning of Horrid Henry Meets the Queen from the book Horrid Henry Meets the Queen. Perfect Peter bowed to himself in the mirror. Your Majesty, he said, pretending to present a bouquet. Welcome to our school, Your Majesty. My name is Peter, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Slowly, Perfect Peter retreated backwards, bowing and smiling. Oh, shut up, snarled Horrid Henry. He glared at Peter. If Peter said, Your Majesty, one more time, he would, he would. Horrid Henry wasn't sure what he'd do, but it would be horrible. The queen was coming to Henry's school. The real live queen. The real live queen with her dogs and jewels and crowns and castles and beef eaters and knights and horses and ladies in waiting was coming to see the Tudor wall they had built. Yet for some reason, Horrid Henry had not been asked to give the queen a bouquet. Instead, the head, Mrs. Oddbod, had chosen Peter. Peter? Why stupid, smelly, old, ugly toad Peter? It was so unfair. Just because Peter had more stars than anyone else in the good as gold book, was that any reason to choose him? Henry should have been chosen. He would do a much better job than Peter. Besides, he wanted to ask the queen how many TVs she had. Now he'd never get the chance. Your Majesty, said Peter, bowing. Your Majesty, mimicked Henry, curtsying. Perfect Peter ignored him. He'd been ignoring Henry a lot ever since he'd been chosen to meet the Queen. Isn't it thrilling, said Mum for the millionth time. Isn't it fantastic, said Dad for the billionth time. No. Henry'd said. Who'd want to hand some rotten flowers to a stupid queen anyhow? Not horrid Henry. Bow, bouquet, answer her question, walk away, muttered Perfect Peter. Then he paused. Or is it bouquet, bow? Horrid Henry had had just about enough of Peter showing off. You're doing it all wrong, said Henry. No, I'm not, said Peter. Yes, you are, said Henry. You're supposed to hold the bouquet up to her nose so she can have a sniff before you give it to her. Perfect Peter paused. No, I'm not, said Peter. Horrid Henry shook his hands, head sadly. I think we'd better practice, he said. Pretend I'm the queen. Henry picked up Peter's shiny silver crown covered in fool's jewels and put it on his head. Perfect Peter beamed. He'd been begging Henry to practice with him all morning. Ask me a question the queen would ask, said Peter. Horrid Henry considered. Why are you so smelly, little boy, said the queen, holding her nose. The queen wouldn't ask that, gasped perfect Peter. Yes, she would, said Henry. Wouldn't. Would. And I'm not smelly. Horrid Henry waved his hand in front of his face. Pooh, said the queen. Take this smelly boy to the tower. Stop it, Henry, said Peter. Ask me a real question, like my name or what year I'm in. Why are you so ugly, said the queen. Mom, wailed Peter. Henry called me ugly and smelly. Don't be horrid, Henry, shouted Mom. Do you want to, me to practice with you, or don't you, hissed Henry. Practice, sniffed Aunt Peter. Well, go on then, said Henry. Perfect Peter walked up to Henry and bowed. Wrong, said Henry. You don't bow to the queen, you curtsy. Curtsy, said Peter. Mrs. Oddbot hadn't said anything about curtsying. But I'm a boy. The law was changed, said Henry. Everyone curtsies now. Peter hesitated. Are you sure? asked Peter. Yes, said Henry. And when you meet the queen, you put your thumb on your nose and wiggle your fingers like this. Perfect Peter gasped. Mrs. Oddbot hadn't said anything about thumbs on noses. But that's 
room, said Perfect Hugo. Not to the Queen, said Horrid Henry. You can't just say hi to the Queen like she's a person. She's the Queen. There are special rules. If you get it wrong, she can chop off your head.